Oh, remember when LeBron apologized to the team's play? They beat the Jazz. Things were moving in the right direction. That's over. Last night, LeBron dropped 30, 12, and 5 and still lost to the Pacers. Karis, Levert, and Sabonis combined for 50. Russell Westbrook was benched in the fourth quarter for botching a defensive assignment. That was the straw that broke the camel's back, according to coach. L.A. has dropped four out of five. Frank Vogel's job is reportedly on the line. LeBron is answering questions about his big off-season acquisition. You don't think he's the GM, huh? How was Russ after the game? Is that the sort of thing that bothers him? Um... Have you followed Russ throughout his career? Not as close as you have, probably. Okay. Have you followed Russ throughout this season? Yeah. yeah. Uh, would you think that would bother Russ not being in the late game? Okay. Never really answer. LeBron with a Socratic uh, technique with the press. And, of course, Shanae Gumake, who went to Stanford, gets the reference. One of my West Coast connects with me now. Shanae Yesterday, you told me this Lakers team is not built to win a title. When you hear LeBron in that presser, what do you think? I'm actually not reading much into what LeBron James said, and I think that was his point. He's someone that leads with his actions both on and off the court than his words. And he's always been, and part of that presser was him saying that I'm a positive person, and we know that. He is a positive leader, and he's a pass-first leader. All of that positivity comes out in different ways, and that's why his version of being one of the greatest players is by a myriad of stats. And so by him not saying a lot, to me just says, He's taking his teammates back and finding a way. The way you wear those amazing tailored suits, uh, Max Kellerman, he tailors his leadership the same way for each person differently, right? So I see this as LeBron just going to keep all the business in-house because he's been doing his part. It's now galvanizing others to do theirs as well. Should I have been saying since this trade was made. Like, I get what the Lakers are doing. Not Buddy Heald. He's a better shooter. He fits better. This is the island of misfit toys. But the history of the NBA is get the best player, right? You get three great players together, they'll figure it out. And Westbrook, in the first half of every season, four consecutive seasons now, new team, new teammates, he's no good anymore. Second half, he figures it out, catches fire. What's the one thing you'd like to see Westbrook change? And, and improving shooting doesn't count. I mean, something within his control. What I would like to see Russell Westbrook change, obviously he's a point guard. Number one is limit turnovers. He leads the NBA so far this season with 188 turnovers. Second right behind uh, is James Harden for some context on his usage and what he's been able to do. Two, I want him to find creative ways to create assists. And that does not mean by passing, sometimes that means screening. Because people, as you're seeing, he has a large distance between the guy who's supposedly clo closing out. And so it's like, all right, instead of just forcing a shot, which is what they want me to take, maybe I do a dribble handoff and give that space to the next shooter. And then lastly, do what he does best, use his motor. And I think right now the Lakers, they're, they're really struggling on defense. If he can be more active and step up to those assignments, I know that was a big issue of concern guarding Karis LeVert yesterday. If he can step up to those assignments and do those three things, that'll put the Lakers in a much better position. Yeah, they're eight, nine feet off you for a reason, Russ. I know you think, well, then I'm going to shoot. No, because you can't shoot. Like, but you can do a lot of other things. There are people, Shanae, who think the thing to do is to make a, a, a head coaching change. Do you think Frank Vogel is the problem? Absolutely not. Frank Vogel is not the problem right now. Their issue is heart and hustle. Let me take you back. In 2020, when the Lakers won a championship, they were number two in defensive rating. They had full team buy-in. Right now, they're 20th in defensive rating. Ever since Anthony Davis got injured December 17th, they've had the fifth worst defense, and they've allowed the sixth most points in the paint. That's heart. That's hustle. Obviously, they're, you know, they're missing their all-defensive four-time all- 500. He said he didn't feel like he was under siege. Lakers lost to the Pacers 111-104. The Pacers outscored the Lakers 35-24 in the fourth quarter. But here's the news. Key, Jay, Vogel benched Russell Westbrook for the final 352 of the game. So here is Frank Vogel, Lakers head coach on his job security. I don't feel like I'm under siege. Uh, it's not hard to do my job. I, you know, I'm very focused on the task at hand. I've always been that way. And, um, 
it's really not up to me whether it's fair or not. Uh, it comes with the territory. You know, it comes with being the Lakers coach. We have high expectations. This fan base really cares. It's a big market. You know, I wouldn't want it any way, any other way, to be honest with you. So that's mm. coach. You want to hear from yeah. the GM? Sure. Let me hear from okay. Rob Palenka. Here's LeBron James oh. at the post game presser. Well played. I'm not in that business of, of uh, pointing fingers or, or pointing blame or trying to uh, put a quote at the end or at the start of somebody's, uh, of someone's commentator of what they feel, you know, our coaching staff or, or Frank is or where Russ is or where I'm at or AD. Um, if it's not positive for me, I, I'm, it's, not my, it's not my lane. I'm not a, I'm not a negative person. You got something to, to ask me besides trying to buy the iron skills. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That is exactly what he's supposed to say. You don't buy into things. You just try to get going and get winning, man. If you sit around and listen to people that just want clickbait, then you go fall into that trap. And clearly, the coach is on the hot seat. Things are swirling around the team because everybody expected, you know, had a different expectation going into the season. So, you know, the best thing for them to do is just try to figure out how to get going on the right track. Meantime, Jay. I agree with Key here. I don't always think like, oh, I'm just going to be positive is the answer. It depends on the situation. But here, you're asking about is... He wasn't positive after they got blitzed by Denver. That's why he didn't talk to the media. Smart move on his behalf. Well, okay, fine. But that, I, that that's okay sometimes yeah, for me, I'm too. Okay with it. I'm trying to keep my mind right. And But if you're asking me about my coach's job security, I'm not going to deal with that. He's my coach. We're trying to win. That's all. I'm not going to deal yeah, with that. Yeah, but the, but that, the whole asking him about job security is because it's LeBron James. You ain't asking the, the, the 11th guy on the bench about job security. No, you're so not. You, but, automatically, but, you automatically feel like LeBron James is running the team, so to speak. So you want to ask no. that question to try to get him in a pickle. That's the slick That All that is is slick talk. And it, he's it, smart enough to know that that ain't happening. Well, it's slick talk, but the reality <laughs> of it is that LeBron James wields a lot of power. I mean, there is a reason why, you know, his coach in Cleveland got fired when he first got the job, when he first got over to Cleveland before he actually oh. got Ty Lue, right, to win a championship. Okay. So like, there's reasons why these questions are being asked. And there's so many cooks in the damn kitchen. Like, you know, this is a personnel issue. I don't think this is a Frank Vogel issue. When they won a championship, they had one of the top-ranked defensive teams in the league, guys. They had personnel that fit the scheme that Frank Vogel wanted to play, Key. Now you yeah. insert a lot of older age pieces that don't have a defensively minded sound, you know, way of playing, and they play a different style of basketball. That's why they rank 27th in points allowed not, per game. It's not who they are. Let's not underemphasize Anthony Davis's absence. Like when he plays, it's a totally different situation. A lot of his value is on the defensive end. Well, a lot of his value is being available too, no doubt. And, and that's and, that's, and, that's always and, a knock against. And him. when he was playing, it wasn't like the defense exactly. was lights out. Yeah, it's true. He, yeah, but listen, I get, he, I get that he is a defensive stopper, so to speak, in the paint. He makes the shots different. He can also slide out if need be at times, depending on who's guarding. But the defense was not lights out even when he was on the floor. He, it, comes, to, it comes down to this, guys. Like they, This organization needs one voice. They really do. They need somebody who has autonomy to make the decisions. Because what happens is when you got Kirk Rambis, who is sitting in coaching meetings now. I mean, he's always been part of the organization, but virtually – you got Jenny Buss, who's trying to handle things over the top. You got Rich Paul, who's involved with clutch to a degree with LeBron James, making internal decisions, trying to help the team win. You got Rob Polink, who's in a position, what does he do going back and forth? You have a, a lot of people who are making personnel decisions, and it feels like this team is now stuck because I don't think they're going to have a lot of trade value going into the trade oh, there's deadline. A, there's so much there. And we we're, later on, we're going to have to get to the Westbrook benching. Does LeBron have to sign off on that? Because someone's like, you know, like he does have a lot of influence. You talk about the island of misfit toys, the way this thing was put together. AD, it's not like they were locking down defensively with him, although he was the guy who challenged LeBron to play regular season defense when he got there originally, and they wound up winning the championship. There is so much hmm. there. Westbrook benched. We couldn't even get to it. There's so much there, but we will. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Matt.